Now there are three things you should know before getting a solar quote. With so many homeowners going solar these days around the entire United States, it's easy to overlook what information we as experts actually need in order to generate an accurate proposal for you. With that said, here are the three really easy things you should know before requesting a solar quote from us or any solar company for that matter. This is relatively universal information, but before I dive into this, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. It really only takes a second to click that little red button down below. And if you find this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. YouTube really appreciate it. It helps the algorithms. Now let's not forget we are in the business of installing solar and battery backup systems. So if you're interested in going solar and you live in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive your hassle-free quote. We really do make it easy for you and relatively affordable in my opinion to make the switch to clean renewable energy. These three things are not in any particular order, but the first one is probably the most important one out of the three, and that is what is your annual kilowatt hours that you use from your utility provider? This is something many of us are really guilty of not paying any attention to, and really, why should any of us? The dollar amount is what we're all worried about, but also, many utilities make it a bit difficult or just too dang confusing to figure it out when you're looking at the utility bill. Regardless of why you don't know it, you need to. The best thing is to either navigate the online portal and find each month's total kilowatt hours or call your utility provider. Yes, you'll have to sit on hold and write down each month. They will give it to you over the phone. Be sure to give every solar company you request a quote from, including us, the exact same information. Don't round up, just give it raw. This will save so much time for everybody, especially when getting multiple bids because everyone should be designing to or above this annual kilowatt hour amount. The next thing you should know is going to be the electrical panel for your home. Now, not all homes getting solar need an electrical panel to be upgraded, but there are many that do, especially when you're getting a really large solar system, like 10, 15, 20 kilowatts in size. Now, it's fairly easy for you to check this and figure out if your electrical panel has a sufficient rating for solar. You just need to go to your electrical panel, which is usually located on the side of your house, and open up the door, and check the main breaker. It actually should have a label next to it. It should say service disconnect, main service breaker, something along those lines. Depending on how big your electrical panel is, the main breaker typically comes in 100 amp, 125 amps, or 200 amps. There are 150 and 175, but that's less common. If you have a 100 amp main breaker, you will most likely need a panel upgrade. If you have a 125 amp main breaker, you may or may not need a panel upgrade depending on the size of your solar system and the bus bar rating of the panel. If you have a 200 amp panel, you most likely just won't need a panel upgrade, but this still depends on the size of your solar system. You may need a D rate in some circumstances, but the best thing you can do is to take a photo, click, click, and email it to us after we receive your hassle-free quote. There's also a label on the door of the electrical panel. Be sure to take a photo of that as well if it's there. Sometimes older panels, that label's gone. Now, the last and not the least important thing is to decide how much larger of a solar system you think you want. We typically recommend to our customers 110 to 120% larger as this provides a nice cushion for poor weather and increased energy usage. But for some of you inquiring for solar, you may be doing it because you plan on purchasing an electric vehicle or you already own an electric vehicle. If that's the case, you may want your solar system to offset 140 or 160% 
than your current energy usage. We previously did a video on electrical vehicles and how many solar panels you may need to offset the energy needs for that vehicle. Be sure to check that out. It has a really helpful Excel spreadsheet that I put together in the description. Either way, these are the top three things we feel will help you have a much better experience when receiving quotes from, from solar companies. And just to recap them, the first and most important thing is to know how much energy you use per year in kilowatt hours, or at the very least, an estimated annual cost of energy. Second, most important thing is to know if you need a panel upgrade or not. This is really easy thing to check and any good solar company like Pacific Sun Technologies will be able to answer this question with a handful of photos from you. And the third most important thing is to figure out how much more energy you plan on using over the next few months or next few years. Are we putting in a hot tub, a pool? Did you buy an electric vehicle? This is, this is information that's important for the solar rep to design the right system for you and your family. Make sure to share all the same information amongst all the companies. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to request your hassle-free quote from us if you live in our area, Southern California. We service a pretty large area, roughly 100 miles, and we would love the opportunity to win your business and install your money-saving solar system. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and share this video at the same time. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.